So glad you can join us as we're going to be discussing together restoration through education. And, um, you know, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, the Bible says that God said, let us make man in our image. Mm -hmm. And that's a, a big concept. But um, what really did God mean when he said that? And what's its significance to us? Well, making, making us in his image. I, I'm... <sighs> I love using my children as illustrations. <laughs> we do and, too. And we like hearing you, about it. <laughs> when you, um, you know, when Banjo was young, he used to he used to surprise me. I'd be uh, ready to go to college, and because I was studying at the time, and ready to go to college, and I had my hat on, I had my shirt on, and it was a blue hat and a blue shirt, and I had my you know shorts on, and and Banjo would come out of his room with the exact same clothes, <laughs> and he, he'd go, "Look, Dad, look, Dad, he's so proud." <laughs> And I, when I hear the image of God, I always hear that. Mm. I hear someone that's not only just putting on the right clothes or putting on the same clothes, but, you know, having the same attitude and being joyful and, and, and all that. So when we're made in the image of God, we often have, you know, connections between. I know Trish has connections with Poppy and Poppy will sometimes finish Trish's sentence. Oh, I, knew, I knew you were thinking that. Or, you know, and, and when you get to know people and when you spend a lot of time with people, we have that with twins, right? Mm. Um, made in the image of God, I, I believe is God's, there's things that we do, there's the, the love that we feel and the love that we express mm. is the image of God because he is love. Mm. And yeah. this is just an awesome concept, and especially in education, because God came as Jesus and gave us a textbook, we could, you know, the textbook to learn now more about the image of God. Mm. And it's just so exciting to keep learning that. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I love how you mentioned he gave us a textbook. Of course, in Jesus' day, they already had the Old Testament and they called not just the first five books of the Old Testament, the Torah, but really they referred to all of the scriptures as the Torah. And, um, you know, at times we, we think of the word of God as being his law, and that's true and that's accurate, but really the word Torah means instruction or teaching. Mm -hmm. And so how powerful that God wants to restore us into his image, like you're mm -hmm. talking about, um, though marred by sin, he wants to restore us into his image through the teaching of his word, mm -hmm. his, his written word through Jesus, and I mean his written word, and then his uh, living word through Jesus Christ. And that's really a whole life thing like it affects every aspect of our life when we come into the image of God as he transforms us by his word yeah. like we often think of our Christian life I think some people think of it as being like this part mm. this little piece of the pie you know <laughs> my work and then my family and then my Christian life is here when actually it's like the pie tin it mm. should permeate and affect and govern That's every so aspect of our lives not just the one yeah absolutely and so the word of God is um Teaching involves more than just feeling all warm and fuzzy and positive, right? Mm, that's right. that's what so, the Holy Spirit plays a really important role in that, in teaching us, absolutely. you know, and convicting us. And, you know, I guess it's the concept of sanctification, right? You're, mm. you're actually improving and, and you're wanting to become more like Jesus, more like God. And he helps you do that through the teaching of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Amen. And sometimes he might tell us things we don't like. <laughs> mm, that's right. <laughs> little, little instruction, little reproof. <laughs> Many times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's necessary, just like a good teacher will tell a student when they've made a wrong answer on their paper mm. or while they're acting out of line and right. they need correction and we need correction in mm. our lives. And that's a part of the instruction of God restoring us into his image through his word. Mm. And so we pray that as you study the Bible and as you dig deep into its pages, that you experience the transformation that only the Holy Spirit who inspired the word can give. And may God continue to be your greatest teacher.